The world is home to an abundance of fascinating ancient ruins from crumbling cities to temples that have withstood the test of time. Welcome to Around the World. Today, we'll be looking at the most amazing ancient ruins. Are you a fan of our channel? Be sure to subscribe to Around the World and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're counting down the most amazing ruins around the world. Many of these ancient societies were incredibly innovative and forward-thinking. Some of the most captivating ancient ruins are full of 1,000-year-old mysteries that will confuse even the most curious of minds. Number 25. Ayatthaya Ayatthaya is a historical city that began as a Khmer military and commerce post about the year 1350. This bustling trading port quickly rose to prominence as Thailand's ancient capital, a position it held for four centuries until it was burned down by Burmese invaders. Wood was used to construct many of the city's temples and treasures. The vast majority were destroyed, with only about 50 stone remnants and temples surviving the fire and being visible today. Exploring Ayatthaya's blend of Siamese, Sri Lankan, and Khmer architecture has been a popular day excursion from Bangkok since renovations began in the 1970s. Number 24. Stonehenge Stonehenge is one of the most well-known ancient ruins in the world, located on the Salisbury Plain in Wiltshire, England. These strange stone rings are some of the world's oldest stone formations, dating back over 5,000 years. They are made of sandstone and are shrouded in mystery. It's still unclear who erected them and why. Stonehenge was either used for religious rites or to track the movements of the sun and moon, according to two common hypotheses. Because exploring the ruins of Stonehenge takes only two hours, a day excursion from London is frequently paired with a visit to Windsor or Bath. Number 23. Mesa Verde Mesa Verde National Park, with its amazing collection of 600 ancient clifftop houses, is located deep in the American Southwest. The Cliff Palace, carved inside a huge sandstone alcove that has sheltered it from the weather for over seven centuries, is the most famous of these houses. It's the largest of its kind in North America, with over 150 rooms and 23 sacred kivas, unlike the rest of the homes, which only have a few rooms for residential reasons. These remarkable cliffside communities were abruptly abandoned in the 13th century after being inhabited for about a century. Number 22. Sidriya In Sri Lanka, Sidriya is an old castle sculpted into a 200-meter vertical clock face. The interesting remnants of an ancient civilization, supposed to be the capital of the Kingdom of Kasapa, can be found on top of what is today known as Lion Rock. It had a fortress, a mirror wall with spectacular colorful murals, and a lion-shaped entryway in its heyday. The capital was abandoned after the king died and converted into a Buddhist monastery. While the trek to the summit of Sidriya is hard for the faint of heart, the vistas of the ramparts, terraced gardens, and cave shrines will make the effort worthwhile. Number 21. Masada Masada, an ancient fortification, is one of the most spectacular remains on the globe. The place is airily gorgeous, perched on a clifftop overlooking the Judean desert in Israel's Dead Sea. It was erected as King Herod's palace and dates back thousands of years. It included modern amenities like a bathhouse and even private swimming pools. The massive stronghold was also the site of the last stand of the Jewish uprising, which chose death over a life of Roman slavery. Two paths climb to the top, and the vistas are well worth the effort despite the scorching heat. Number 20. Hampi Hampi, India's wealthiest medieval city, was the second largest after Beijing. The once thriving hub of the Karnataka Empire, with temples and imperial palaces, is now nothing but ruins. The ancient capital originated as a small riverside religious institution in the 14th century, founded by two princesses. The royal family's own house of worship, the House of Victory, the Vithala temple with its stone chariot and musical pillars, and the main temple with its carvings of strange-looking sea monsters are among the highlights. Number 21. 
Number 19. Pompeii. The haunting ruins of Pompeii can be located near Naples, Italy. The renowned Mount Vesuvius erupted in 79 AD, destroying the Roman city in waves of lava and killing over 2,000 people. The ancient city was discovered in the 1950s by chance behind the volcanic rock and is extremely well maintained. However, it was not properly excavated until two decades later. You can stroll around the streets of these old Roman remains and experience the town in its prime. Stone dwellings, temples, bakeries, and even a brothel have been discovered. Number 18. Tulum Tulum ruins are the remains of an ancient Mayan clifftop stronghold located an hour's drive from Cancun. The views are breathtaking from three sides, with the fourth facing the Caribbean Sea. Tulum was at its peak between the 13th and 14th centuries, but it dates back to 564 AD. It was a major center for the trade of jade, cotton, and cacao beans. Apart from the major feature, the El Castillo Pyramid, See the exquisite mural inside the Fresco's temple and swim at Tulum's secret beach, which is flanked by palm trees and sunbathing iguanas. Number 17. Ephesus The ancient city of Ephesus is located in western Turkey and is one of the most spectacular Greek and Roman ruins on the planet. It was previously home to the ancient temple of Artemis, which dates back over 2,000 years, but what makes these ruins stand out is how immersive they are. Unlike many other protected archaeological sites, every part of the city can be touched, stood on, and walked through. It is also home to the 25,000-seater Great Theater of Ephesus, the largest outdoor theater in the ancient world, as well as a series of ancient public toilets, Celsus Library, and Hadrian's Temple. Number 16. Ellera Caves The Ellera Caves are a collection of caves, monasteries, and temples built into basalt cliff. Only 34 of the 100 caves are exposed to the public. Ellera in Maharashtra, India, was built by Buddhist, Hindu, and Jain monks over the course of five centuries. The Kalasa Temple, dedicated to Lord Shiva, is the showpiece of the Ellera Caverns. It is the world's largest monolithic sculpture. Other notable locations include the enormous preaching Buddha in the Carpenter's Cave, so named because the granite resembles polished wood. Number 15. Terracotta Army The Terracotta Warriors, located in Xi'an, China, are an astonishing collection of thousands of life-size soldiers and horses. Around 600 underground pits dating back to the 3rd century BC can be found. When residents were excavating for a well point in the 1970s, they accidentally discovered them. While many of these pits remain unexcavated, three of them are exposed to the public and housed under the Terracotta Army Museum. Apart from their sheer size, what makes these clay warriors remarkable is that each face is distinct. They were hand-carved with unique features and took around 40 years to complete. Number 14. Chichen Itza Chichen Itza, one of the world's most famous archaeological monuments, was once a bustling city on the Yucatan Peninsula. It was built by the Mayans around 600 AD and abandoned in 1221 when Mayapan became the new capital of the region. The Temple of Kukulkan, a massive stone pyramid with four stairways representing the compass and 365 steps for each day of the year, is a highlight. It's preferable to go at the spring or fall equinoxes when the sun shines brightly on the pyramid stairwells. The ball court, the wall of skulls, and the sacred cenote, which was formerly a site of human sacrifice, are all must-sees. Number 13. Acropolis The Acropolis, capped by the Parthenon, can be viewed from any corner of Athens from its position above the city. The Acropolis was first erected and occupied by Pericles in the 5th century BC and was later converted into a city of temples. 
These ancient structures were made of copper and marble, with some gold plating. Restoration work is still going on, so don't be shocked if scaffolding is still up. Many of the original antiquities have been transported to the Acropolis Museum, so stop by while you're in town. Number 12. Bagan. Bagan, Myanmar's historic city, is a fascinating temple town. During the 11th and 13th centuries, it was the capital of a great kingdom with over 10,000 temples, monasteries, shrines, pagodas, and stupas. Mongol invasions, carelessness, and natural disasters have all contributed to the decay of these revered monuments throughout the years. Only 2,000 temple remains remain, strewn across the horizon. While you can walk around the archaeological zone, a hot air balloon ride over Bagan is the greatest way to see the overwhelming number of temples. Number 11. Tikal. Catching a sight of the remains of Tikal is something absolutely unique, with its huge temple tops emerging through the lush canopy of the Guatemalan forest. These distant ruins, strewn with pyramids, temples, and palaces, are a popular day trip from floors. Tikal, one of Mesoamerica's most important archaeological sites, was the largest and most powerful of the Mayan towns circa 600 AD. While you're here, don't forget to visit the shrine of the two-headed snake. Climbing to the top of one of the Western Hemisphere's tallest pre-Columbian buildings will reward you with breathtaking 360-degree views of the jungle and beyond. Number 10. Karnak. The sheer magnitude of the Karnak Temple Complex in Luxor, Egypt, is astounding, covering an area larger than most ancient towns. Temples, obelisks, and shrines dot the landscape. It took almost 2,000 years to construct, and each Egyptian pharaoh placed their stamp on the structure. Discover the huge hypostyle hall by walking down the Avenue of Sphinxes. One of ancient Egypt's most recognized and photographed sites is this vast room filled with towering pylons and firm upright stone columns. Stop to observe the sacred lake and the adjacent winded scarab while you're here. Number 9. Borobudur Borobudur, Indonesia's largest Buddhist temple, is made up of two million volcanic stone pieces. It dates from the 9th century and went into disrepair until it was rediscovered in the 1800s. It has subsequently been restored to its former beauty and is especially popular around sunrise. The Borobudur monument is made up of six square platforms topped by three circular platforms. From the base of the pyramid, a road of enlightenment runs up through the three levels of Buddhist cosmology. The world of forms, the world of formlessness, and the world of formlessness. It has about 2,000 reliefs and 500 Buddhist statues, each of which illustrates a Buddhist doctrine. Number 8. Teotihuacan. Teotihuacan, located on the outskirts of modern-day Mexico City, is one of the most famous Aztec archaeological monuments. Although contrary to popular belief, the Aztecs did not construct it. Nobody knows who did it, but when the Aztecs came to the abandoned city, they named it and made it their own. It was once the greatest metropolis in the Western Hemisphere, with an abundance of residential compounds and pyramids. The Temple of the Sun and the Temple of the Moon, two distinctive pyramids, are the main attractions today. Visit the citadel of the Temple of the Feathered Serpent and stroll through the Avenue of the Dead. Number 7. Moi Statues The Moi Statues of Easter Island in Polynesia are legendary, with the tallest standing over 80 tons. Even if you've never heard of them, you'll undoubtedly know them from a photograph. These more than 800 figures, the most of which face away from the sea, were sculpted from volcanic ash by the Rapa Nui people between 400 and 1500 AD. 
most likely with basic basalt stone picks. Each of these massive monolithic monuments would have taken months to build. Many hypotheses exist as to why they were built, including honoring notable clan ancestors and the thought that it would improve the land. Number 6. Colosseum The Colosseum was an old gladiator arena and is one of the most famous Roman monuments. The 50,000-seater amphitheater, which was completed in 80 AD, was used to stage a variety of events, including animal fights and brutal gladiator contests in which competitors would fight to the death. Even by today's standards, the Colosseum's architecture is remarkable. Three tiers of archways form the outside walls, which are capped with Ionic, Doric, and Corinthian columns. They were formally adorned with marble statues, and the top level supported a large canopy that protected spectators from the elements. Number 5. Great Wall of China The Great Wall of China is the world's longest man-made structure, stretching across 15 Chinese provinces and autonomous territories. It is made up of a number of distinct portions of walls and moats that were built as a defense against invaders during the duration of six Chinese dynasties. Some sections of the wall have fallen into disrepair after being over 2,000 years old. Walking the full length of the Great Wall of China would take around 18 months for anybody who wanted to try it. Number 4. Petera Petera, the Rose City, is an ancient desert town fashioned out of pink sandstone cliffs thousands of years ago by nomads. It's hard to believe that this city, nestled between the Red Sea and the Dead Sea in Jordan, ever had lush gardens, opulent buildings, and lively markets. Instead, a walk or camel ride among Petera's ruins will discover hidden tunnels, temples, and tombs. One of the most magnificent landmarks in the old city is the two-story treasury cut into the rock face. The front alone is worth seeing, but the interior, with its Indiana Jones-style royal tomb, is also worth seeing. Number 3. Machu Picchu Machu Picchu, one of the most famous cities of the ancient Incan Empire, is a significant check off the travel bucket list. This medieval fortress is buried in Peru's mountains, so cleverly disguised that Spanish invaders never located it when they arrived in the 1500s. They were only discovered by chance by an American explorer in 1911. It's estimated that 60% of the structure was built underground, primarily for fortification and drainage. These fortified ruins are only accessible by foot or train nowadays. The Machu Picchu Museum is a must-see for everyone interested in learning more about the Incas lost capital. Number 2. Anchor Between the 9th and 15th centuries, Anchor was the capital of the Khmer Empire and a bustling historic metropolis. Today, the city is most known for the Hindu Angkor Wat Temple, which claims to be the world's largest religious site. The Angkor Archaeological Park is famed for being visited before sunrise when the illumination above the temples is truly magnificent, but it also has many other amazing landmarks. Aside from Angkor Wat, there are over 1,000 temples strewn across the forest rice fields and farms of Cambodia. A jungle-clad tomb, Raider Temple with trees sprouting out of its remains, and the 12th-century Bayon Temple, which represents the historical core of the ancient city of Angkor Thom, are among the highlights. Number 1. Giza The pyramids of Giza in Cairo are one of the most mystifying ancient locations on the planet. There's a lot of discussion about how they were made with such precision and perfect detail for the pharaohs of ancient Egypt in the 4th dynasty. They're yet another outstanding example of ancient Egyptian engineering. 
They were utilized as burial chambers and were littered with treasure for the pharaoh to use in the afterlife, which attracted a lot of tomb robbers over time. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other videos for great travel destinations and be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified about our latest videos.